Today's battle is brought to you by French Toast Crunch. All the flavor and taste of French Toast, but without the cooking! Only available in Canada Land! Well, how's it going here, everybody? It's been quite some time since I last made one of these Pokemon battle videos. Now, I could ramble on as to where I've been and slash what I've been doing, but most of you probably don't care, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just jump right into this battle right here. So, yeah, here we go! So, yeah, today's battle is this match I got against this dude I found on the Pokemon Showdown by the name of Typhlosion7137. And yeah, it's an RU battle, if you can't tell already. Now, the fundamental behind this team that I decided to create right here is mostly centralized on building support slash making fun times with uh, an SD Absol, as you can see, we got running straight on point right there. But looking at his, at his team, the main threats I'm looking at really lie within the Steelix, the Buffalon, and the Spiritomb. The Spirit Tomb, because if it manages to burn a lot of my guys, I could be kind of screwed in that regard. I don't really have too many things to tr really take uh, Spirit Tomb as well. It's a big threat that I really need to look out for more often. Um, but if I feel like I can pass that, I'll be fine. Uh, Mandibuzz doesn't scare me that much. Steelix, again, I really don't have too much to take it, except maybe for Slowking. But if I lose Slowking, that's kind of an issue. I do have Manetrix with Overheat, but it's Scarf, not Spec, so I don't even know if it can kill. Plus, I got a Factor in Sturdy and that kind of Stealth Rocks and all that Jazz and Erasmataz. And then I've got his, his Absol doesn't scare me, I got Bandit Scythe there, I got plenty of things to handle that thing, it's not terrifying. And uh, Buffalon, I, I gotta make sure I'm, I gotta be careful around playing that, cause that thing can hit like a truck and if I lose Steelix it's an issue, I'm, uh, well, again, I can't do Jack Swat to it, it's like the penultimate counter to it. But yeah, so it's gonna be an interesting match, I, uh, it's gonna be close too, that's all I can say, I'm gonna be having a bear of a time trying to get around. Um, yeah, Medicham doesn't really scare me too much. I, I have ways of getting around it. I got, I got Sloking. Just as long as I keep him alive, he'll be strong. And I just gotta look out for potential um, Thunder Punches. But yeah, that's enough rambling out of me because it's already two minutes into the video. So let's go on and get to that battle, shall we? Boom, Shackle! All right, so I'm gonna lead off my scythe right here as he leads out with the Steelix. No, I'm full. This is a terrible matchup. I'm gonna go for the Brick Break just to see what he does for some stupid reason. I also wanted to see how much a banded Brick Break would do to this thing. As you can see, not very much. Should have just brought in uh, good old Sloking off first turn and then had him sell up his rocks. I don't know why. I think I just want to get some damage on it, maybe. For, I don't know why I brought it in. But anyways, that's beside the point. Steelix goes bye-bye after trying to go for an Ice Fang. I go for the T-Wave as he brings in his Mandibuzz, knowing full well that a Dark Pulse will not be truly appreciated. Plus, he does really have a lot of special defense. I'm going to switch out, bring my Steelix, use this opportunity to set up my Stealth Rocks as he switches into Medicham, goes for that Drain Punch. I take it pretty well, in all honesty. Go for the Gyro Bolt, does a lot of damage right there. I know for a fact they could have at least taken one thanks to Sturdy, but eh, that's beside the point. Now, I switch out here and I bring in uh, Sloking right here as he goes for the Drain Punch this turn. Now, here he makes a questionable play, and I'm just going to say this right now. This dude really makes some questionable plays in this match. Namely, he keeps going for Drain Punches. Now, whether or not he kept going for Drain Punches because he wanted to bait in my switch into Manetric with a Thunder Punch, I don't know, but he just keeps going for it over and over and over again, which I think is kind of silly, but I don't know. I know if he really could have gone for the Thunder Punch, I probably wouldn't have done too much to me. I mean, I don't know. I mean, then again, I did get the Skull Burn, but... Oh well, what can you do when you live in a shoe and you ain't got no so Also, something I should mention about the uh, new Spirit, uh, the Pokemon Showdown battles. You notice how like, that's at minus 10 to 15%? I don't know, it looks a little weird. I'm not really used to that. Anyways, that's a side the point. Absol comes in now as Slowking uh, switches out. Gonna go for that Toxic on my Absol. Kind of a bummer, but that's fine. I go for the Night Slash now as he brings in his Mandibus, knowing full well that really ain't gonna do too, too much to myself. I believe I decide to go for a Super Power on the Mandibus. That was a terrible mistake on my end. Should have brought in the Netric and that or go or scyther one actually no not not scyther i should have brought him the metric to take the um the air slash like a champ and then finish him off with a thunderbolt and or uh bolt switch but okay that's strange anyways though i switch out bring him a metric right now i go for the overheat i'm assuming expecting the switch into heat trend but eh, whatever hey mandibuzz dies right away now he brings his absol i switch out bring in my steelix right here as his absol goes for the night slash i expected him to go for the sucker punch but hey what can you do now i go and bronze steelix he goes for the flamethrower which i kind of should have expected except not really and he kills me off with that move right there i go for the th uh, overheat now this turn with Manetric, but i stupidly make the foolish misplay and i should have gone for thunderbolt instead or volt switch one of the two but i really thought he wanted to switch into steelix expecting the uh 
the, 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 the Thunderbolt, so whatever. Whatever. Absol dies, though. This turn, which is pretty cool. Um, but now I'm stuck in a pickle right here because he does have the Bufalon, and that Bufalon really is the penalty, like as I said earlier, the ultimate counter to Lilligant in UU, or RU, my bad. Um, but because I want to hang on to both Scyther and Slowking, because I know they're going to be a lot more useful, I decided to switch them in instead. Now, here's the issue. I have Scyther right here. I do manage to kill him off with the air, Aerial Ace this turn. Not sure if that matters, because I do have Stab, Technician, Boost, Plus Choice, man. It does a lot of damage. But here, I really need to be careful, because here, his Steelix comes in, and I believe I go for a Scald now as he goes for the Earthquake. Not really sure why he did that. That was a kind of another foolish misplan is that he should have just brought his Steer Tomb right here. But here is the kicker. Now, his Spear Tomb, not running like a conventional set. He goes for a hidden power that's super effective on my Slow King. That lets me know that he's running either one, t one of two types. Grass or Electric. Not something you should be running on Spear Tomb, buddy. You really shouldn't be doing that. That's not the most smartest of plays, really. He should be going for Dark Pulse this entire time, but I guess he was maybe trying to bait my switch into Scyther again, but he ends up just going for the Dark Pulse. Gets the crit that turn. I mean, whatever. It's perfectly fine. I would have just rolled him down at that point. And I safely bring in Scyther, and by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I win the match with 1%. Now, looking back on the match, um, the main area where I think I could have been a little bit smarter in my misplays was bringing in Steelix on the Flamethrower. I think that really, I should have seen that Flamethrower coming a mile away, because I think that's actually more common on Absols than the standard SD set. But um, the main area where he lost the game, however, would probably be, uh, I want to say, well, I'm not really sure where he lost that game. I think he just made a couple of foolish misplays with Absol slash Spiritomb. Um, I feel like he kind of let his, uh, no, 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 it was leaving, it was leaving Medichain behind, that was a stupid play on the whole, he should have, he should have been going for Thunder Punches when he should have gone for Drain Punches, that's probably where he really lost the match, um, otherwise he could have really just train wrecked my team if I wasn't too careful, but I think that's enough rambling out of me here today, guys, and, uh, yeah, if you want to check out my more, more of my material, you can always feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and if you're looking to see what's going on this coming week, please. Check the schedule down below. Someone is knocking at my door right now, and it's being very rude. So I'm going to cut it off here today, guys. So, yeah, this is essentially the Trials here saying peace out, yo. Have a good one. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!